Welcome to FMTV. My name is Joe Tomlinson and today we're talking about sports science. In Football Manager 2018, your medical team take on a bigger role than ever before, providing you with more information about your club's current injury situation as well as advising you about how to avoid injuries happening in training. Sports scientists made their debut in Football Manager last season and they return this year with a more visible presence. They report directly to you with regards to the physical condition of your squad, freeing up your physios to focus on treating injured players. There's also a new dedicated sports science attribute for medical staff. You can view the feedback from your sports scientists on the new medical centre section, which is your one-stop shop for everything related to the fitness of your squad. There are five panels within the section offering the most detailed insight and analysis of your team's condition in the series' history. The first of these, the overview panel, shows you who in the squad is currently injured, which players have recently returned from injury and any players that are at increased risk of picking up an injury. At the top of the screen, you'll also see an assessment from your sports science team about your current training workload, your injury record compared to the rest of the league and any changes you can make to your training methods to avoid injuries ahead of upcoming fixtures. What if we want to see how we can reduce the likelihood of injuries occurring on the training pitch? Well, you'll want to go to the Risk Assessment panel. This shows you your upcoming fixtures and current training workload, allowing you to easily match the intensity of your training sessions to your upcoming matches. Your sports scientists will then point out when it would be best to lighten the player's workload and when they need to put in the extra hours on the training pitch. This will help keep your players injury free for longer and potentially prove to be the difference between defeat and victory. The risk assessment screen also gives you information on each player in your squad's susceptibility to injury, overall injury risk, current workload in both training and matches and their general condition. From here you can delve into a player's individual medical report to see their injury history and status as well as any parts of the body that are currently affected by an injury. There's also details on treatment they're receiving and the time until they can return to training. Let's move on to the injuries panel. This screen lists details on every injury your squad has picked up over the season and the last campaign. It includes severity, the treatment option that was used on the player and how long the player was sidelined for. At the top of the screen you'll be able to see a comparison of your current injury situation compared to the league average as well as a graph showing a year-on-year -year comparison of the number of injuries your squad have sustained. In the top right there's also a snapshot of which players have missed the most action over the past 12 months. For a more detailed view of that snapshot you'll want to head to the season summary panel. This breaks down the number of injuries each squad member has suffered this season compared to the previous campaign and the time and percentage of action that they've missed during the season. There's also a panel for currently injured players. Finally, all five panels can be filtered to show your senior squad or youth teams or all three should you desire. You'll also be sent emails from your physios and sports scientists that help you see how you compare to other clubs in your division injury-wise. Make sure you regularly visit the Medical Centre tab, make use of the information and advice contained within it, as well as the feedback from your sports science team, and you'll be able to better prepare your squad for the rigours of the modern football season. This will help keep your key players in top condition for those local derbies, relegation six-pointers and title deciders that define a season. Thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye out for more episodes of FMTV and for more information on Football Manager 2018, visit footballmanager.com.